Hey there crafty friends, Suzanne here in the studio today with a quick video showing you the results of the Christmas Story card making workshop from Close to My Heart. I really like the paper and the jar and the stamp set and die cut set that was featured in this set so I got it right away and I've already made my Christmas cards. Um, there's 16 in the kit of course, you get four each of four designs and then I went on to do um, Oh, another 90 or so. I ended up with 112 cards all together. Okay, let's take a look. First, let me showcase what the paper is in the Christmas story. Isn't this beautiful? This is very on trend. I recently got a Shutterfly, um, you know, printed photo card advertisement, and they're one of their background prints is so darn similar to this, it almost looks like it was the same print. Very, very close. I like that ours has little birds in it, though. Okay, and then on the back of that, you were going to have this scarlet color with this zip strip. Now, these same two papers are in the um, paper pack and the workshop for scrapbooking, and they would be on two separate pieces of paper. But in the card making, they take two designs that they want to use and they put them back to back, even if that's not the way they appear in the other workshop. Just thought I'd let you in on that. Okay, here is the first card. As we go along, I will give you some quick tips. I knew I was going to be making a lot of cards, so I did a few little shortcuts on things that I thought would save me some time. For example, on this card, this is originally meant to have a line of stamping across it and then a dotted, hand dotted line of stitching. Well, let me show you in the stamp set. That particular stamp, which you can see right here, is a little dotted sort of chain link kind of stamp. And I was having a hard time getting that to line up. So after a while, I just decided it wasn't worth the time. So I took my ruler that has quarter inch increments marked on it and I did quarter inch stitches, two lines of them. And then on the top line, I went back and I did double X's through them. And so it gives it that same effect, but I can do this a whole lot quicker than I can line up that little stamp. I did like that little stamp enough to use it on inside under my sentiment. And this sentiment is actually from a stamp set um, a few years back from close to my heart. Okay, as you see here, we've got a little bit of gold glitter or shimmer trim above that, so that looks really cute. All right, I like that. Now, I had quite a bit of paper, both from the Holly and Ivy and the Cedar and Pine workshops of prior years. So, after I did my workshop, I went and I adapted the cards using the second set of papers. This is the Holly and Ivy print. And this is a piece of our Seabrook. This cardstock is our Seabrook. The other change here I made is I decided to, instead of shimmer trim, I was using a um, zip strip there. And then I decided to tuck it under and just have one side of it fishtailed. All of those things made it a little bit quicker card with the same general feel though. Okay, that's the first one. Here's the second one. This is really pretty as well. Here we've got the dark paper as our background. And then this strip of paper, of cardstock down the middle, this is actually, they have you cut two small pieces. So you're putting a piece here and a piece here, and then you're covering up the fact that it doesn't go all the way through um, with this center panel. To be honest, it's time consuming to get these two to line up. So after a while, I just decided to, I had plenty of the paper, so I just decided to go ahead and cut the cardstock the full length and make it quicker to put it down. Again, when you're doing 100 plus cards, you gotta save time wherever you can. Otherwise, this is pretty much as they say. Here we have cedar and pine, 
version of this card. As you can see, I've used peach as this background here, and then the dark I've used as the piece behind. I've used a black shimmer trim, and then the green pattern paper there. I also added in some epoxy little flowers and dots from my stash, so I really like how that turned out. So there are those two. And this is actually card number four because this is another one where you're die cutting all the elements. Um, one tip I would give you there, they have you double up die cutting and that generally works, but for this narrow holly twig and the, um, the pine twig, those are very hard to get unstuck if you've die cut them together. So after a while, I decided it wasn't worth the time, so I started die cutting those singly. Um, and it actually went faster because I wasn't fiddling with it, trying to get them apart. So there's my little tip for that. Time for mistletoe and holly. I really like that. Isn't that pretty? And I like that how that toffee really plays off of our gold shimmer trim. Very nice. Okay, here is the version with the other papers. Here we have that green from Cedar and Pine. We're using the Scarlet Apple Shimmer Trim. And again, I've added in the pieces of enamel. So that is very nice. There is a lot of die cutting. You're die cutting five or six pieces for each of these cards. So that takes a little time to do. But I think it's worth it because it gets you a really nice, nice card. The third card, which is actually the one I'm showing you last, is this one. And this one goes together the quickest. But even on this one, I found some ways to make it even quicker. For example, here they're having you cut shimmer trim in half. That's no fun. <laughs> so after I did it for a couple of cards and I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't really like that. So how can I, how can I fix that? So let me show you on the other ones how I did that. Um, so here, when I was using, this is the cedar and pine paper, I switched up and I used a full, this is, I think, believe three eighths. And then we've got the zip strip and the paper. And then that means that I moved this a little further down. And then as you can see, because I'd already cut all of these pieces, this was going to be a little bit long. So actually, I had to trim, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or something off of that from the back. But still, that was a lot easier than trying to um, cut shimmer trim in half. So, making it easier for myself. This is actually, I used up what little black shimmer trim I had. This is actually black glitter paper. So you can get the exact same look with our glitter paper as you can with our shimmer trim. Very, very sparkly. And then after that, I also had some Scarlet Apple Shimmer Trim. So here is another version of that card. As I said, this one was very quick to put together. So when I was really needing to up my, up my throughput, I went with this one. And again, this card here, they would have you stamp that chain link kind of pattern. And I just decided to draw it instead. So... All together was like 112 cards. And I think I did about maybe four sessions of about three or four hours each. Then at that point, I was cleaning up the desk and I managed to make what I call a few clean desk cards. Here is the first one. Now this is just using whatever die cuts I had left over, you know, without having to go back and do anything else and just kind of matching up the hodgepodge of die cuts I had left. One strip of the pattern paper here, and then some shimmer trim, and then two die cut, I mean, hand cut fishtail flags here, and then some sparkly gems from my stash. Here's kind of the second iteration of that. We've got the bottom sheet, then we've got a smaller top sheet, and then I have used candy apple shimmer trim here for the fishtail flags, as well as for the corner. So I like how that kind of balances things out. And then again, here we just have greenery coming out of this. 
and then the gems. And then last but not least, I have this one. Here we have the black cardstock behind the green. And then we've got two zip strips and a piece of glitter paper. All three going all the way behind the uh, mason jar. I really like this mason jar stamp and popping it up with 3D thin foam tape. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Um, if you're doing Christmas cards, I hope you're making good progress on getting yours done. And if you would like and subscribe to this video and to my channel, I'd appreciate it so much. Thanks as always for your time and attention. Bye for a bit. Thank you.